Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you're all well and um, enjoying some crafty time. Um, today I'm going to do um, a project that you have probably all seen a hundred times over, but this time it's going to have a couple of variations <coughs> to it. So this is what we're going to look at doing which is a slight variation on the pocket envelope. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a couple of versions of this just so you can have some options. I'm working with 12 by 12s. You can work with anything as long as it's square. Um, literally, your 8 by 8s, your 6 by 6s, whatever you want to work with as long as um, it is square. Now this one here, um, this undoes like... And this I've just folded it through and I'll show you that now okay and with this one here we've got our full sorry we open up the one lid we've got our full pocket here and that is what the traditional one looks like so full pocket here we open up this one here and we've got a pocket in there a pocket in Oops, here, and then a pocket here, and a pocket here. With this one, I've just put an eyelet in, tied a little bit of string or ribbony things, um, and then I am just popping that through like that to close it. And as I said, that is one variation. So we're going to do a couple of these. They are super, super quick. Um, <clears throat> probably one of the quickest things I've done in a long time. Sorry, my cable is just um, stretching over the... Stretching over the camera. That's what I was thinking. Sorry. Apologies. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a couple of different than that one. Let's go for this one. So just a couple of different types. I'm using the Craft Consortium um, pad. This one is Belle, Belle, Belle Fleur. Belle Fleur. Anyway, <clears throat> that is the one I'm using. Um, and it is part of the 12 by 12 series that we're uh, kind of working with at the moment. So you're going to need your paper, whatever size that is, whether it's your 12 by 12s or your 8 by 8s or your 6 by 6s, you're going to need some glue and you are going to need a bone folder, possibly. Um, and that is it. That's all you're going to need for this project. So I'm going to start off with one. I'm going to take my piece of card and I'm going to put it so that it's kind of not square like this, but the pointy ends are up and down, left and right. And all I'm going to do is I'm using double sided card. If you're not, it's okay. Just make sure you use all the sides with the pattern on is on display. Um, so this would be the pattern side. This would be the non pattern side. All I've done is fold it up like that and just put a crease line here and I'm just going to go over that with my bone fold up. Okay I'm going to turn it around so that the pointy end is facing me and I am going to if I can make sure that this one piece because we've got two pieces here so just the one piece of the pointy end is going to fold back on itself and it's going to fold in the centre of your straight line. Now I'm using <coughs> the boards just to match that up so that I can see if it's not in the centre sometimes it looks a bit off centre so that is all we're going to do. So we're simply folding the first layer back on itself towards our long line. <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to turn it around now. We're going to take our one corner and we're going to fold it along this straight line. 
and we're going to put a bone fold there just to burnish that. Okay, we're going to take it back around and we're going to take our other end and we're going to fold that along our line. <clears throat> okay, now normally this would be your standard envelope pocket. But we're going to do a couple of different variations to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut off this top fold that goes against the um, full line. So just the one, I'm just cutting off this one piece here. If I can, I don't know if this is going to let me do it. Yes, it should be okay. Yeah. So I've cut that off. Okay, I'm going to fold this back up to how it was here. The only difference now is that we don't have this piece popping over here. So we've cut that off. <clears throat> what I'm now going to do is I'm going to glue <clears throat> these two pieces onto our base. I'm going to take some art glitter glue. I'm going to start with the one that I want to be the end of flap. So that's this one here. And I'm going to glue all along the bottom line here. Like that. And that is going to come up here and I'm just going to put that in place and let that dry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also then going to do exactly the same with this second piece now. So I'm going to just glue that bottom line and we're going to fold it back on itself. Okay, <clears throat> now that is your standard envelope pocket. We've got our deep pocket here, but because we've glued these the way we have, we've also given ourselves two pockets there, <clears throat> if you can see them, and one pocket here. Okay, they're small pockets, but they are pockets. What I like to do is fold this piece down like so. So if you're not using it for send it off anywhere and then we just measure this up again. So if you're not using it to fill up and put it down as um, you know happy mail or a rack or whatever I like to fold the top piece over so you're left with this kind of sorry my glue is leaking which makes a change from it normally not working. Um, so there. Now with this one, we've got this piece left over. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to find my middle piece again if I can. So that there would be my middle piece. Okay, so we've got five. Okay, that's about middle anyway. So I want to position the triangle there, so it's about middle. I'm going to fold these up here, and the same with this one here. <coughs> okay, and then I'm just going to literally snip these off. Like that. You can see that's not straight. 
I haven't measured that particularly well, but it's off center, but you get the, the, the gist. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to fold it, sorry, glue it on the underside, just along that straight line. And then I'm going to flip that over. Gosh, I'm really off center with this. And I'm going to glue it down there. So you are left with a tech spot here. Okay, I'm actually going to round that corner off, I think, just because it looks a little bit better. And I'll do the same with this one here. So you're left with a tech spot on the back. I'm actually going to glue those two down as well. So I think they're going to flap too much if I don't. So technically, it's more of a pocket than a tech spot. But you can call it whatever you want. This is like playing darts. Um, yeah, you can call it, call it whatever you want. So we've got our pocket or our tech spot here. We flip it over. We've got our main piece here. We open that up. We've got a large pocket here. We've got another pocket here, a, another pocket here, and a pocket over here. So that's three, four, five pockets on that one. All I did with that then was I just put an eyelet in here, which gave us this one, um, and I tied some string around it. I'll do that now, just so you can see the whole process, and then I'm going to remake the one that I did originally. So, and these eyelets are super cute. They are, um, they've got a flower on them. And I got those from, um, I think it was Craftilia. I'm pretty sure it was Craftilia. So our eyelet in there, and I just used some materials. Um, I think it was that one. So I just grab stuff's awful to um, work out what's what. One, two. So just squish that in there, pop it through here. And do a little tie knot here. And another little tie knot here. This stuff is lovely. It's from Tapeology. Um, but gosh, it's, it's um, if you're doing knots and what have you, it's a little bit fiddly. Um, just a tad fiddly. So, we've got a knot there and we literally just wrap it around. And I'm going to tap that in there. And just pull that to give me my closure. So that was the simple, or well, that was the version <clears throat> where we just cut a piece of it off and made an extra pocket on the back. And then this version, as I said, is again really simple. We are literally going to get our 12 by 12. Our first point is facing upwards away from us. And we're going to fold the piece that is pointing, facing us, over. That makes sense. And I'm just going to burnish that. We're then going to turn it around. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try and get it centre. 
So I'm just measuring this up now so I know that line should be centre and I should be able to just pop that there like that. Okay, so we folded our first part, first triangle piece, if you like, over ourselves against this straight line. I'm going to turn it on its side. I'm going to take the point, the bottom point here, and I'm going to fold it over the this top opening line here. I'm going to turn it around and do exactly the same. Take our corner triangle and measure it up against that top line and fold it. Okay, we're going to take this up here. So we'll put our first flap back up. So we're left with this triangle shape. We fold our two corners over. Again, I'm going to glue those in place. So just the bottom part of the opening is going to glue there. And again, I'm just using our glitter glue. It's pretty quick at setting. And then the bottom part of the other side flip out is going to be glued and it's going to go here like that. So we fold then, we've got two flaps. We're going to fold the one flap down over our two creases. And we're going to take the second flap and we're going to do the same. We're going to fold that down. So instead of our traditional shape here, all we're doing is we're popping this over here again. So that gives us our full opening here. And if we lift that second flap, it gives us a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket, oh, it gives me two pockets there. So I've got more on this one. One pocket there, one pocket there, one pocket there, one pocket there. So four pockets there and our big pocket here, which is the fifth one. Again, I'm just gonna cut the ends off these. Like that. And I am going to, you can use, um, um, what do you call them, the vellum, sticky vellum things to hold this down if you want to. <coughs> you could do a policy closure. There's loads of different ways you can do closures for this. I just like the simplicity of this one here. So again, I'm going to pop a little hole in there. I'm going to grab my eyelets. That didn't go in very well. In fact, that's actually caught on that clever. Let's try that again. Okay. So that's a little bit squiffy. <laughs> it didn't like that at all. I'm going to take some more of this material, a little bit more than last time. I'm going to pop that through there, if it will let me. <clears throat> We're going to do a little knot here. And another little knot here. Like that. <clears throat> I just like to leave that um, 
that piece hanging you can cut it off if it's not something you like and we fold this over itself when we come here we're just going to fold it under and then through there so that this particular um, thread doesn't go with this um, colour scheme but that is the principle so there's two of those there five pockets in and there's one of those there where we use the back pocket and of course you've got your standard one just to reiterate is and I'm not going to run through all of the um, actions I just want to show you oops a daisy Two pieces of paper here. Yeah? I wondered why it was so thick. I'm not even sure if um, when you do the original variation whether these are glued down or not or whether they're just left like that. But they, that's your original version. That's your second version, which has got the tuck pocket on the back. And these two here are your third version, where we folded them all on top of each other. And this giving you more pockets again. All the 12 by 12s, I mean, to make four of those and go through state to state, step by step is 20 minutes um it takes you literally minutes to make one um and they are fantastic for happy mails and uh racks i'm going to use this one here in my journal i'll pop it on my journal page like this um and i'll do it so that the um thread here only folds over once so you can just undo it flap it open and you've got access to your pockets from the side of the page um, that's what I intended to do with that one these ones here now obviously I've got a choice and I will probably um, keep those for some uh, happy mails but super super simple really really easy you've probably all seen them um, you've probably all done them um, there's no um, there's probably more variations that you can come across. Um, if there is, I would love to know. So pop the um, the versions in the comments box below. That would be fab. Um, other than that, simple, quick project with your 12 by 12s. Um, I will leave it there. So as always, stay safe and be well. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.